All right, so I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create graphics that are consistent with your brand that you can use across all of your social media channels. So when you purchase a social media template from the Saffron Avenue shop, this is what you get. You get various sized uh, templates that you can use in Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or whatever else you want. Um, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to edit one of the Instagram stories. So click on it here. You can preview everything in this file. So there are 10 different templates in here you can use. We're going to go ahead and hit edit. It'll open up a new tab. And then before you get started on anything, you first need to make a copy of this. So head on over to file, make a copy. So it'll open up another new tab. And this is the one to edit. So you can change the name of it right up here. So you can name it your brand, whatever it is. I'll just do template tutorial. And then we'll jump in. So one of the things that I've already done is upload a bunch of stock photography. Then the other thing I do is set up my colors and fonts. So just go ahead and click on this first one here. I just clicked on the background. Up here in the top left, you can choose that color. So there'll be different colors already loaded in here. We're just going to go ahead and create some. Um, so click the plus sign. If you have your color code already, go ahead and enter those in. And I'm just using three colors for my brand, my made up brand. Just put in however many you have. It's nice to do this right away so you have them for reference throughout. Okay. So I'm just using these three colors here. Obviously that blue one's not a part of this. It was already in there. And then I do fonts. Fonts the next one I want to update so it's ready to go. I'm going to just use two fonts in this. I'm going to use a serif font. Let's see. And the other one I want to use for my sans serif will be let's see, we'll go with railway. So for this template, I'm going to let's do pink. I'm just going to make this a quote. So I found a cute little travel quote since I'm mocking up a fake travel blog. I light and change it. Okay. And credit. Now, since this is a quote, I want to add the little quotation marks. So all you do is just go up in here to the search. And just write quote. Enter. And you'll get a bunch of options to choose from. Most of them are free. Some you pay for. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Another thing you could do instead of selecting the two different ones is just choosing one that you already have, hitting copy up here, and you have two, just give it a little flip and put it down there. So, all right, let's go ahead and change the color of these. 
that's the fun thing is everything is so easily customizable in here. It's really great. Okay. Since I changed that font to railway, it's kind of small. I'm going to bump it up a smidge. Let's bump this one up a little bit too. All right. Other things you can do with the text is, um, this one's already in all caps, but say you want this in all caps, just hit this button and change it. Just gonna leave it the way it was. And then the other thing you can do is edit the spacing. So letter spacing, so in between each letter. And then the line height too. So if you want to spread it out or bring it in, you can change that up as well. So there's one quick little quote you can plug into your Instagram stories just for something fun. You could type in whatever else you want here or add images as well. Um, let's go ahead and change this one up. So this one already has an image on here. As you can see, there's also a shadow box behind. So we're just going to cover that up. Um, it's very simple to change the images on this template. So go into your uploads and then go into my stock photography file. Um, I'll pick one of my photos. Just pull it over the box. If you hover it, it'll snap it right in there. So just snap it in and you're good. Now, problem I have is it's too light here. So I can change the font color, which is easy. You know, I can just change it to whatever. But I'm not loving that as much. So let's go back to white. I'll show you another quick little option you could do. Change that to my font. Okay. So all you have to do is create an overlay. So it's really simple. Just go into your elements over here on the left-hand side. You're going to click shapes. Just do the square. I'm going to go ahead and make it black. And then just line it up with your edges. And then we're just going to change the opacity on it. So we're going to drop that down so our picture shows through. Not that much. But as you can see, the text is behind this overlay. So just go to Arrange and drop it back one. It'll pop out. Sometimes you have to go back a few different layers if you want other elements to pop through. Um, so you can just play around with it. All right. So I have my overlay, my image. I think I'm actually going to drop that a little more. A little more luminosity. I'm going to edit this text to be a brand text. Bump it up a little bit. And then we're just going to change this color. Look at the teal. Not a good picture. Okay. So, got a couple there. So, this is super easy, very quick. You can customize it even more. All right, once you're done editing your templates, they are ready to be downloaded. Now, before I show you that, I wanna mention there are two versions of Canva right now. Uh, Canva 2.0 is in beta testing, so you're able to choose between which version you wanna use. And I've set up both of them to show you how to download um, on each one. So Canva 2.0, can be identified by this header bar. It will be a gradient color starting from teal over to purple. Um, and then a couple of things will look different on the side here, like you can close this. Um, and then Canva 1.0 will be either turquoise up here at the top, like that teal color, the Canva color, or it'll be your brand color, whatever you've set. So uh, we are ready to download, so here we go. So one other thing to note, the title that you named these designs will be 
the file name it gets downloaded as. So make sure it's relevant to your item. So whether it's, you know, your brand's Insta story templates or something like that. So first I'll show you how to download on Canva 1.0. So here we are on 1.0, just go up to download, leave it as the recommended PNG file type. You can do different ones if you'd like. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. And then there are a couple different options. You can download the entire collection. So if you have them all edited to your liking, you can select this. It will download it as a zip file. And I will show you how to do that. But first, let's just do one page uh, and go from there. All of the pages are numbered along the side, so you can reference that if you'd like. So we'll go ahead and do one, download. All right, so that is downloaded now. Before I click into it, let me quickly show you how to download on 2.0. Pretty much the same concept. The pages are numbered, except along the top here. And then there are two options. You can do publish, click download here, or if you want, you can publish it directly to one of your social medias. However, Instagram is not in here as an option, so we'll go ahead and just download it. So here's the download button if you don't click publish. Looks the same here. We downloaded the PNG file. For this one, I'm gonna show you how to um, download them all. This example, I only have two pages, so it'll be a quick download. Select all, done. This will take a second for that to download. When you're using Chrome, it'll show up here on, your bo on the bottom with your downloads. If you're in Safari, it'll be up on the top right-hand corner. So what you wanna do is, this is our individual file we downloaded, and this is the zip file of the series of the stories. So either one of them, they're both to the download file. So let's just click this zipped file. And I just clicked it one time and it'll open it up. So here you see the individual one, that we downloaded first. And then this was the zip file, and this is the folder as it's opened up. So what you can do is you know, highlight your items and then drag them right into your Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever file you save your stuff to. And then you can open it right up on your mobile device, on your phone or your iPad, and then go into Instagram and save them to your stories. So that is the tutorial on how to edit and create social media graphics on Canva. Hope you enjoyed.